Hey, what's up YouTube? This is FTV here for FTV Productions, of course. And today I'm going to show you how you can create a very cool looking background for your YouTube channel. Like this one. Like the one you see here. And also this one. I'm sorry, this one is based on green, as you can see. My channel is based on black because I like that color. And then you have this one that's based on red. There you go. Then you have this one that's based in blue, and the previous one was made for Counter Strike, and uh, then we got another one that's also based in red. And uh, the idea is you can get a lot of vibrancy here. So you have this based in blue. Now the common thing here is this very, very, very unique background image, and it sort of matches the color. Alright, so today I'm going to show you how you can create your very own background for YouTube. Alright, so what you want to do first is you want to download the link in the description and extract the file to your desktop. It'll be a PSD document and it will be this one, YouTube channel template by FTV. And you, what you want to do simply is open it up with Photoshop. Perfect. Now, I'm going to show you how you can edit and uh, make this suit your needs. And uh, so let's get started right away. We got only 10 minutes as usual. So let's start. So the first thing what you have here is the player. Now this is this thing right here, and I suggest you no, don't move it because it's kind of centered here. Then you have your username, and uh, you can of course move it down and up wherever you want. Then you have your channel that's hidden by default, and it's actually my channel right here. Your channel may be some something different from here, but uh, that just depends on you. Just depends on you actually. And then you have your background that you can of course change the color off. So getting started to uh, edit it. So first thing what I'll do is I'll double click on this background to bring up the blending options for the background and I'll untick this color overlay and I'll take the gradient overlay and I'll select that and I'll make my own gradient. So let's see for this tutorial I'm going to make a background that's based on red. So I'll go over to red, choose a kind of red color here, go to this one and choose kind of dark red here this one maybe okay okay and on the another okay and you want to choose this username and take the text tool select this username and I'm gonna type in face the venom and it's written in a font that's usually available in Photoshop called Myriad Pro but you can of course change that I'm gonna change it right now to something like Newtown I think that's the font here okay, okay. and of course you can change it by clicking change the size of it by hitting control T to bring up the transformation controls and sizing it down and maybe even moving it here maybe here and then click on this take box, box. and then what I'll do is I'll zoom in a bit and see how it looks you can of course change the color of it alright so I'm just thinking of a really cool trick that you can do with this double click on it go over to gradient overlay and first of all change the angle from 90 degrees to 0 degrees then select that and because the background is kind of red I'm going to make this text red as well, so I'll choose a uh, kind of red color here, and uh, maybe this one here, maybe something darker, looks like that, and I'll make one point here, I'll double click on it, this the last one, so that Photoshop just takes up its color code, and I'll make a point here, and I'll make another point here. Now in the middle point, I'm going to double click, and I'll make it to somewhat light light red maybe somewhere here and then I'm going to squeeze it beneath my other two reds click on OK and I'll go over to an outer glow select it and I'll change the color also to red maybe somewhere here or something lighter OK and OK again now if you zoom in you can see that we create a, did a very cool looking text effect that's kind of strike through alright so Alright, so moving on, what we want to do is we want to select this player and I want to double click on it. And if you go over to gradient overlay, you want to simply click take this gradient overlay box and uh, select the color. And now what I'll do is I'll edit this header here. Alright, so this is my header. I'll double click on it to bring up the blending options dialog box and I'll move it here. I'll go over to gradient overlay 
and that's like this and because this matching the colors I'll see maybe to make it red and dark red be like this and uh, maybe we could even swap these colors just like this so that matches a little bit better and okay and again, okay again and that that works you can do this all right so the next thing what we'll do is I'll go over to the internet and I'll go over to Google images and I'll search for red textures and that just depends on the color scheme of your background if you're on a uh, uh, you know uh, blue background you want to search for blue textures and I've, I've not uh, included any textures here because of copyright cop copyright issues so I'll go over here and I'll search for a nice looking text right so I found this texture it's not really uh, commendable but it's good for this tutorial so right click save image as and I'll save the image on my desktop and uh, then I'll close it up All right and I'll select that image and I'll drag it to the Photoshop icon and then to the Photoshop uh, kind of manager title bar right there it's going to take some time now this is an advanced trick that's going to allow you to fade out your images to transparent uh, once um, you'll see very quickly what you want to do is double click on this background to unlock it and turn it into a layer then you want to click on this create mask button right here and then you want to select your brush tool making sure the forward uh, foreground color is black and the background is white and you want to select a very suitable brush size uh, I'll make it to around 300 and depending on your image it can vary 300 for this image looks good because it's, it's really raw it's around 2000 pixels so this depends on your brush size and your opinion I'll start painting over it and you can see that as a paint the image kind of becomes transparent and uh, you can take as much time as you want to do this uh, but just for the sake of this tutorial I'm going to do it very fast like this and once you're satisfied assuming you are which apparently I am not I'll just select that image and I'll drag it down here and that way it imports it into this one now I'll hit control T to bring up the transformation controls I'll zoom out a bit and holding down shift I'm going to scale it down just like this and uh, maybe position it here and uh, maybe scale it down a bit more there you go, this is perfect. I'll select this tick button and it's going to apply the transformation. And what I'll do is I'll move it down here behind my player. And then you can uh, put in as much effort you want for it. I, I honestly am not very satisfied with it. Maybe I could lower down the size a bit. Yeah, honestly, I'm not very, very excited with this, but um, you can take your time to do it. It's just a tutorial, so I'm just kind of hurrying up. Alright, so um, that's pretty much it. That's how you do it. And assuming you have, you find this logo image somewhere on the internet, which I don't think you will, because I hope you don't, because I, I like my background and want it to be unique. So um, if you find it, you can use it. You can use it, uh, but. I don't think I'm going to find it because it's really hidden out in there. And one last thing you can do is grab the text tool and you can just type in subscribe and uh, change the color to maybe white. And uh, this is just personal preference. You can, you may or may not do this. And uh, what I'll do is I'll make my channel visible just for a moment. And uh, I'll position it here. Hold it to control T. I can reduce the size position it and uh, hide the channel once again just like this you can even duplicate it and put one around here but uh, honestly I'm satisfied with this so um, yeah that's all and yeah if you want to save it you can just go to file save as go over to your desktop and uh, for this example I'm just going to save it like in this uh, name and change the type to JPEG click on save and this is the important part, you want, you want an image that's below 256 kilobytes so you can upload it to YouTube so I'll drag this down, maybe call it number 8 still it's bigger, maybe 7 and uh, that looks good and I'll click on OK and uh, I'll go over to my desktop and if I go here is my channel and you can very easily upload it to YouTube and as your channel background but uh, you can work as hard as you want on your background 
I'm not doing it very hard because it's just a tu tutorial and uh, I don't wanna waste much time there and besides I have only 10 minutes for tutorial and uh, uh, so yeah alright that's all I want to show you if you have any questions please leave them below in the comment section or send me a message if you really think you can get some answers from me and uh, you should be thinking that because I think I can give you some answers so um, yeah that's all that's all I want to show you hope you enjoyed this tutorial please comment like and subscribe and uh, thanks for watching